Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. CS Money has been the biggest bot trading site since it was released in 2016. Despite it had to fight with some big competitors, it managed to be the market leader and was even the sponsor for some big CSGO events. But even with that popularity, CS Money is not a white paper when it comes to some sketchy business practices. That's what we're gonna look at now. Is CS Money a scam? Yes and no. Before we go on with the video, feel free to like and subscribe. Recently I started to work full time, but I'm still trying to get some videos out. And I will still release one or two videos every week. So if you subscribed and ring the bell, it is the best way to get notified. Thanks! CS Money was one of the first to start with a bot trading service. Combined with sponsorings and other big marketing methods, it quickly became the place to instantly trade your skins for other items. With a fee which used to be between 5 and 8%, this was a pretty good deal for people that do not want to look for someone to trade with. In addition to that, CS Money featured a very good support and started with many different social media channels. So they integrated themselves in many parts of CSGO and the content around it. And if there was a problem, it was normally quickly solved. But there was one thing CSGO really likes, money. And it is a business, so it, it's not that unusual. But the problem is they do not like to say that directly. And these are the four a bit fishy practices they use to make money, which is a little bit ethnically skeptical, I would say. The log fee. Many will not know it, but when you trade on CS Money, you not only pay the 7% trade fee or 4% if you are a prime subscriber, but you also pay up to 13% extra on top of the 7%, so up to 20% depending on the trade log. Here you can see the values and many do not know that these values exist. And having these values is a big win for CS Money because it gives them extra profit when people trade with items that are valued too cheap and somebody buys it in the first two weeks. For example, somebody deposits a Dragon Lore with a rare sticker and the sticker is really underpriced on the side. A trader will instantly buy it for 10% more. For CS Money, they still lost something because the people would have bought it on the site even for more, but they do not have to do anything and made 17% profit. For the customer, this is of course very bad, especially for people looking for good deals because the good deals are just more expensive. It also pressures people to buy an item they like for a higher price. For example, if something just expired and it's on 13% extra, they can say, yeah, I wait six days, then it's 13% cheaper. But the cheaper the item gets, it is more likely that somebody else takes the item and therefore they are buying it with an extra fee. Second, not correcting prices according to the market. This is for me the worst practice they use. CS Money always advertises themselves with having the best and most accurate prices. But what happened in the middle of this year showed that they seek profit over that promise. At the beginning of April until June this year, the prices of most high tier items skyrocketed. Some items, like the Op Dragon Lore for example, went up 35% in only 3 days. When quick price changes like this happen, the algorithms of bot trading sites cannot adapt this fast enough. Which leads that some items are really cheap and will get bought instantly, or items are way overpriced in comparison to the market. Some sites like CS Deals disabled trading until the prices have adapted again. Some sites did nothing and enabled for some pretty sweet deals. And there was CS Money. What did they do? For that, let's just compare the market graphs of some items. So we are here. The right one is the graph from CS Money. This is the price graph from the Orb Dragon Law in minimal wear condition. And on the left, we have the prices from Buff. And you see this huge price spike in the middle of June. And about here is where this graph compares. So I will overlap them now. And you, I think you see what is the deal. The prices stayed up and even went up after the prices on, on the steam market and on buff and all the other sites where they normally take their prices from went down. Why did this happen? 
Two things. The prices rose a lot, but the prices dropped. And if CS Money would have adapted the prices as fast as the market does, which they normally have to do if their algorithm works for itself, then they would have lo lost a lot of profit. Because when the prices spiked that high and dropped suddenly again, the prices on CS Money were still high. So a lot of people invested a lot of money onto the site, just put like 10,000 uh, US dollars on the site to have balance there because they knew that normally algorithm will adapt after some time and they could make a good deal there. But CS Money realized that, like it seems, because otherwise the algorithm would have adapted the prices to that. And yeah, they didn't change the prices that high. They even increased the prices. Why did they do that? I think because people, when the people saw that the prices are still rising and they see that they will probably just lose money, they will just take the money out again and lose a little bit or find a good deal and make a little bit of profit and didn't hold the money for too long. It took over two months after the prices crashed first time that CS money prices went down a bit. But like you can see here, if CS money adapted the prices accordingly to the market, the op dragon law should have been down to this value here. And you can see this had not happened. This is way higher here. And if you checked CS money in the last four months, you see that the prices are way over any markets. So what has happened here? There are two things that could have happened here. The algorithm just took two months to adapt to the price changes, which I know is not the case normally. They changed the prices late and even increased the prices so most people spent their balance again. Until now the prices have not recovered and it is not rare to see an item on CS Money that is not 200% over the regular cash price or 50% over the price on CS Money. Which leads to the next fishy thing that can happen. Overpricing items. CS Money likes to overprice popular items. For example, the new operation skins are always over 40% over market price. Why is that a problem? I mean, new skins are popular and the customers are also profiting from that because they, if they get a cool skin in the beginning, they can just put it on the site and make a good profit there. The problem is again that CS Money always advertises themselves with having the best and most accurate prices, while they still know that the prices are way off. Let's just say you have a P2000 dispatch and want to trade it. You visit the Steam community market and see that it says for around $2.80. You go to buff and other cash prices and you see, yeah, this is around the value I can get. Then you go to CS Money and you see that they offer $3.71 and this is without the crime subscription. You check what you can get on, 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 on CS Money because you see it is 70 cents profit, you think. And you see that Trapper Guerrilla Warfare skin you already liked for $3.70. And you trade it and think you have a cool skin and made 70 cents profit. I mean, yeah, the prices showed like that. And CS Money advertises themselves at having good prices. After you trade it, you check the price and realize that you have just lost 40 cents and not made 70. This is just an example and I know that most people will check the prices. But I also know that I think most people that trade on CS Money just want to trade their skins for something else and do not look at the values or just think that the values on CS Money reflect the real price. This is their fault, yeah, but I think it's misleading and I think it should be, at least there should be a notice that CS Money prices do not reflect the real Steam community market or any other price. Which is also the case with all their promotions that you can top off your balance and get 45% more. Wow! You pay $1 and get $1.45 on CS Money. That's a great deal, you think. But if we think back, you realize that most CSGO skins on CS Money are 200% of your regular cash price. So even if you get 45% extra, which is just an event at the moment, if I'm right, then you're still losing 55%. And you could have made 55% more if you just bought it on a regular cash market. And this is also a misleading practice, I would say. The last thing is promising cash out. Over one year ago, CS Money rebuilt their site for a better, more responsive one. And I have to respect them. 
it works great. There are some things I didn't like, but in most cases, it's a great site. They introduced subscriptions and they also announced a trader subscription. And they also, the biggest update, I would say, real money cash outs. It has been some time that you could just sell your items on the site and you would have get some money there. And you could also add some funds and buy items on the site for real money. So cash outs would have been the biggest revolution of the site because it's one of the biggest bot trading sites. And if that site offers cash outs, that would have been one of the biggest cash markets out there. Starting a business with cash outs needs some really hard legal requirements and in some countries it is very hard and even in some impossible to do that. But for the biggest trading site to not introduce that in over one year, I slowly am getting the feeling that this is intentional. This is just a speculation and I have no proof for that. But just imagine this. You want to sell your items for balance and CS money or already have balance there and want to withdraw for real money. Will you spend that money again or will you keep the balance because it says cash out very soon on the side? On average, most people will keep their money for some days if they don't have tracked this money for months and know that this button has been there for some time. Many will even keep it there for some months and by that lending that money to CS money. While you are waiting for your cash out feature to arrive and to withdraw the money, CS money can use your money for investments, for example. And if you withdraw it for a skin, they make double the money because you have sold your items and then you have the trade and maybe some trade log or user fee. So I wouldn't be too surprised if this feature of the cash outs very soon will take another year or even more to implement. Please keep in mind that this is just my opinion on CS money and all the things they do. I also want to say that I've used their site for a long time and it has worked perfectly. I never lost money, which I have on other sites and their support is instantly and really good. So I don't want to just say they're just a scam. This is just my opinion, but I want to address these things. Yeah, I think that wraps it up pretty good. Thanks for watching guys. I am Neon and I see you guys in the next one.